talking about uh, somewhat, I guess we're trying to talk about uh, uh, Chargers and Patriots, bad football a little bit. Uh, squad is at the top of the draft. The Bears are going to be in an interesting position themselves as they will have the number one pick. And that somewhat brings us to our USC talk in regards to Caleb Williams and what's going on with him. Uh, is there any chance that the that Caleb Loki actually falls in this draft? Because there are rumors of the Bears maybe maybe keeping uh, Justin Fields, maybe going and getting a Marvin Harrison. Uh, how you feel? What, what would you do if you were the Bears in their situation right now? Yeah, I, I feel like it happens every season where a, a guy that's highly touted surprisingly falls. I don't I don't know that it happens with Caleb. Uh, like as we discussed last week, I think Fields. Uh, definitely like ha- has shown some promise and he, he seems to turn it on at the end of the season, like like every year when they're, they're, they're kind of out of it. Um, Once he's back and he's pulling against the wall, he's like, you know what? I got to lock in and <laughs> fight, for, fight for myself now. Uh, so there's that. Yeah. I was just going to say, sorry. I was going to say, I was going to say that his team shows that they fully have his back, uh, which definitely can't go a long way. Um, and yeah, they did. They're just been guys that have been stepping up really hard to make sure uh, that they make it clear that they want him to be that guy there. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how, how much that influence that has on the higher ups in that decision because it's going to be a tough one. And then to you, when you add, just want to add for you as well, uh, the Bears have currently the number one pick, thanks to Carolina, and they have a 10th pick. So uh, we'll see what they try to do with those. So, yeah, yeah. With knowing all of that now, go ahead and however you want to go with it. I definitely don't think Caleb falls to 10. So if they want him, they – probably need to take him with that first pick because mm-hmm. um, there's a couple teams in that mix uh, that you just showed that could also use a quarterback as well and obviously there are other quarterbacks on the board but I, I still yeah. believe that Caleb is the number one uh, quarterback available mm-hmm. um, so I mean because yeah Washington New England Giants uh, yeah. Tennessee Atlanta like they could all use a quarterback as well too so yeah. Uh, if, if they if he's their priority, they need to take him at one. Um, but I don't think he falls too far because a couple of those other teams really need a quarterback as well. Uh, but yeah, as you said, with with uh, Justin Fields in Chicago, like it seems like the team he has some team support. I I don't know if it's fully behind him, but like we heard um, DJ Moore talking about how Marvin Harrison like has a good he has a good relationship with Marvin Harrison Jr. and yeah. uh, Fields has a good relationship with Marvin Harrison Jr. too. So already dropping those you know little hints that they, they're interested in bringing him into the fold uh yeah. which which would be a, a pretty explosive dynamic uh, should they get him uh so it, it'll be interesting to see uh how this draft plays out for sure uh again i think we kind of mentioned before if they only had one pick i say you take you take marvin and let him and rock out but the fact that you have two picks in, in that top 10 and then you could potentially even trade Justin and get a third, maybe not top 10, but a third first round pick potentially in there. If you can take one of them picks and uh, you draft Barbara with the first pick and then you go and get Michael Penix Jr. at the 10th pick and then go get somebody else, it's hard to pass that up. As great as Justin uh, has turned things around in the last few weeks and the flashes that he's shown um, in regards to the Bears and their full turnaround as, as a unit. Uh, I, I, it's hard to pass the three guys potentially like that of yeah. that caliber compared to the one. You uh, said they already like, they already passed on Mahomes once, and I know that's still Mahomes them. and Matt Trubisky and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I know there are some folks that, that are a bit scarred and don't want to repeat that. Um, but there are other ways to build this team up again. I go back again to our truth from a few weeks ago, talking about wanting to put a full roster around your quarterback. Again, to our to something else we mentioned was that. Putting Caleb in the situation just with the situation the same as it is, I don't think it elevates the squad too much right now. Maybe down the line because you have him on the team. Five years from now, you figure things out properly and get it to that to that point, and you, you'll be glad you got Caleb at that point. Um, but right now and for the foreseeable future, uh, I don't think swapping on the QB makes a, a big jump for them. So, uh, yeah, if they can package that some kind of way and, and bounce around, that'll be interesting. I guess on the flip side, as much as we want to praise the quarterbacks of these a lot of correct options that a lot of receivers too. So as much as you want to get Marvin, if you can get Caleb with the first pick and you still have DJ, you can go get a, for names like people know, Keon Johnson from Florida State, or we just saw the Washington receivers play last night and how good they played. There's receivers all over the place that could be had. It may not be the same caliber as Marvin, of course, but in the context of putting them alongside DJ and with right. a quarterback like Caleb potentially, again, right. it, it could all uh, end up working itself out. So 
a tough pick and uh we only we answered directly did you say what you would do in that situation i don't i don't know honestly what i would because like <laughs> you do have dj i think mm, i would i feel like i would probably go marvin to just having fields and, and having like uh, a good amount of confidence in him mm -hmm. I, I think adding him to that offense would be uh pretty spectacular and, and and fields and dj Moore already have a rapport that they've been building as well sure. Sure. uh and i think that can only improve so i, I would probably go marvin uh and if they want to go for a quarterback another one probably will be available at 10 i think mm -hmm. uh so yeah yeah um The hard thing is, to the point you made, because I agree with it, as, many, as much as there are a lot of good other receivers in this draft, mm -hmm. I think so highly of Marvin that I can't I can't pass him up. So I think we would take Marvin with that first pick, as you said. And then if I want a quarterback still, if I end up trading Justin, um, then, yeah, I draft one into another quarterback later on. Uh, folks, I, at least I haven't heard too much, and maybe he is in, in that group, as you pointed out, because other teams need quarterbacks. But as much though he won the Heisman, I've heard a lot about Jaden Daniels and his, his yeah. pro prospects. I've heard a lot about Caleb, of course, heard a lot about Michael. I've heard a lot about uh, Drake May. Okay. Uh, yeah. you, if if Jaden Daniels, the Heisman, falls in the draft somehow, yeah. <laughs> another quarterback there um, that surely has a lot of, of good pro potential. Uh, that you put together with some other pieces and, uh, and make it work. So what's his name? Uh, like Bo Nix is going to be in there too, right? I don't like his, bias no, no, him. not a not a top guy, but just looks like another quarterback. Like yeah, available. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, there are plenty. There should be a good a good crop of of QBs in this upcoming draft. So yeah, if if the Bears want to put their faith in Justin, still uh, it, it it could work out uh, some kind of way. So very interested to see how that plays out. We'll continue to stay tuned into it. Excited to see what how things pan out for Caleb. It's on my front as the USC guy of, of the of the duo here. Uh, excited to see how things play out with him, and we'll continue to address things with that as they play out. So uh, that is it.